in this video so we are going to discuss about uh, the simple concept sampling or sampling theorem because using sampling theorem or uh, if we see the previous gates sometimes they will ask what is an Nyquist trait or to avoid uh, aliasing effect what is the Nyquist trait or sampling rate should be done so so oftenly or sometimes we may get question from the sampling theorem also it's a very easy to solve those kind of problems so first we'll see what is mean by sampling so sampling is the process of converting a continuous time signal x of t into a discrete time signal x of n by measuring the amplitudes of the x of t at integer multiples of a sampling interval ts right it is like this so this is a continuous time signal so at ts i am taking one sample at 2 ts i am taking two sa second sample and 3 ts and 4 ts so at each time interval ts i am taking a one sample or one amplitude so it is converting in a discrete time now what do you mean by sampling theorem so generally it is called for low pass signals sampling theorem states that a band limited signal of finite energy so band limited means it should be some band limited to either minus omega m to omega m so this is generally it is called band limited which has no frequency components higher than the omega m radian per second or fmh that is so after this there is no frequency components right only up to here only we are getting some frequency components may be completely recovered from a knowledge of its samples so once we uh, sampled so we have to uh, recovered from the samples when so when it will be completely recovered from a knowledge of its samples if the sampling frequency is omega s is greater than or equal to 2 omega m at least 2 omega m samples per radian per second or we can say fs sampling frequency should be greater than or equal to 2 into fm that is the band limiter signal so then only we can recover the completely so that is the sampling theorem state statement so this minimum sampling rate or omega s is equal to 2 into omega m or fs is equal to 2 into fm is called nyquist rate right so sometimes in the question in the gate questions so they will ask some uh, equation is given or x of n is given or x of t is given find the nyquist rate or find the sampling time or some or sampling frequency they ask so what is this proof for this uh, sampling uh, theorem is we'll go for this one so sometimes they will ask suppose omega s we found so they ask what is the sampling time interval so ts is equal to 2 pi by omega s which is nothing but 1 by fs or 1 by 2 fm so it's called a nyquist interval so ts is called a nyquist interval so this is how to find the nyquist interval right the maximum spacing for complete specification is ts that is 1 by 2 fm so anyway in so opposite ways so we know that fs is greater than fm or fs is equal to minimum 2 into fm so what is the ts so 1 by fs so or 1 by 2 fm so it should be minimum is like this the maximum time interval spacing now at least this is like a critical sampling so fs is equal to 2 fm fs is equal to 2 into fm is a critical sampling so fs is suppose 2 into fm so it's called under sampling if fs is greater than 2 fm it is called oversampling. so what will happen here we will see if x of t continuation is this what is the Fourier transform of this is this is just assumption if it is minus omega m to omega m is there then i am assuming some unit i mean uh, this is generally it is called the impulse train so impulse train is we have to go with ts 2 ts and so on right this is a impulse train now if i multiply with this x of t with this impulse train i will get like this so when i convert into fourier transform so this is the multiplication so you will get we will get convolution here so at each this uh, impulse we will get one omega term that is at zero we are getting some impulse so this into this we will get this one similarly then a shifting version of omega s then and so on we will get so f sub t is uh, denoted by this x delta of t is multiplication of these two that is x of t into sigma n equal to minus infinity to infinity delta t minus n into ds so now this is a Fourier transform that is a convolution of these two we have to do right whenever i do the convolution for delta function we will get the shifting version of this so that is a s of omega we have go, gone through this one right so if i multiply these two we will get like this 
now so how to so x of omega we got this x del of omega is the shifting version of this 0 omega s minus omega s and so on now this is the final version if i multiply with this with the transfer function of h of omega which is having minus omega m to omega m right or generally it is called omega c that is a the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter if i multiply with these two so i will get only the original signal of this so so where is this sampling is so this one here is there so this is the uh, if i omega c is equal to at least two times of omega m so this will not be coincide right that means we will get perfect the recovered signal as the uh, omega m to omega m so that is uh, at omega s is equal to two times of omega m that is a critical frequency we will get like this so there is no uh, what you call distortion of our, our recovered signal right suppose if uh, case 2 it is omega s is greater than 2 omega m if it is at, at least omega s is equal to 2 omega m next one we will see if omega s is less than 2 omega m what will happen there is under sampling so the moment it is less than omega m there is a overlap of adjacent signals that means this is generally it is called aliasing effect so due to this aliasing effect we may get some distortion in the recovered signal so we will get like this right or we will get like this some something is missing in the recovered signal so how to reduce this aliasing effect is so prior to sampling so before sampling a low pass pre-aliasing filter is used to attenuate those high frequency components of the signal that are not essential to the information that is pre-aliasing filter generally used and so this is about this sampling so first case we will get omega s is greater than omega s is greater than 2 omega m next one is this critical sampling that is omega s is equal to 2 omega m this is omega s is greater than 2 omega m so which is how no aliasing effect this is like critical right edge of the aliasing so the moment